If you ever have a chance to visit East Baltimore, you will find a dome that is easily recognizable. It is home to Nobel Prize winners. It is also a place where people strive for excellence and save lives. You will find this dome at Johns Hopkins. But there's another dome in East Baltimore, equally recognizable to the people who were born there. This dome is home to some of Baltimore's best names in basketball, like Skip Wise, Muggsy Bogues, and Sam Cassell. But if you look past the basketball net into these windows, there's something special going on. So those are the three things at the end of the day we must say to ourselves. What did I do with my time today? Did I waste time? Did I invest in time? Did I, am I spending time? And we as young black men, young black males, we got to change the image that people perceive us to be. All right, Tevin, tell me what an arithmetic sequence is. Well, give me a geometric sequence. What is it? Um, let's see. Monty, what is necessary for a five number summary? For a five number summary, you have to have the minimum, the maximum, the lower quartile, the upper quartile, and the median. Is this is Miss Folk's eighth grade advanced math Box class. Multiply. Very good. Chris, if I have a negative exponent with scientific notation, what type of answer am I going to get? 21 of the 24 young scholars in this class have already passed their senior high school math requirement. That's right, senior high school. Remember, this is eighth grade. Of their alternate and opposite of what? Opposite of the transversal. In their journey towards excellence, these scholars are on the road to even higher levels of achievement. But there are distractions. Although their school lies in the shadows cast by Nobel Prize winners at Johns Hopkins, their school also lies in the shadows cast by drug dealers and prison walls. Statistics say these young African-American men may not make it without the help of others. So what are you going to do when the air leaves the ball? What are you going to do when you cannot dump the basketball? Or what are you going to do when you can't run that football? You have to have another plan in place, as the young brother said here. You have to have a young brother, and you have a better chance to get the medical school, to get the law school, to become an engineer, to become a businessman, to make the NFL or NBA. Statistics says that I, as a uh, African American male, uh, might not be educated. Well, I had the opportunity to obtain three different degrees and to be able to sit here as a principal to plant the seeds in our young people. That means statistics has been proven wrong. The ones who are in jail, the ones who are in the gang, the ones who are out there selling dope. Uh, it's just that they told me to strive for my goal and I got to do better. Don't end up like them and just don't mess up in school. They are pressing on and working hard to reach their goals and dreams. And what's their motivation? I actually see myself in the next maybe 10, 15 years as being the CEO of a major Fortune 500 company, uh, which is really what I want to do preferably either um, Boeing or Raytheon or um, Lockheed Martin or Northrop Grumman. I want to be a mechanical engineer, but to go into specifics, I would most likely be a business owner of a Fortune 500 company. I would get my training from Lockheed Martin because we went to a convention center not too long ago, and the stuff that they said they did, they said they helped the Army, helped the ones who protect us, and that seemed like a field that I'd be most certified for. When I help my mom, like, the place that she lives. Like, we have a good home, but it, it's, it's three of us in there. And she just can't do it all by herself. My father, he's here from now and then, but they split up, they had a divorce. So it's just like that he's not always around. She always by herself. She, she's home, but then again, she's not home. She always working doubles for us. And it's just like, I just gotta go out there, do something, reach my goal, and just come back and help them. I don't want you to do that again. Their very survival depends on their success. Pete O'Neill, ABC2 News.